ultraviolet radiation can't be seen and it can't be felt, but overexposure to the sun can cause permanent skin damage and being sunburnt as a child significantly increases the risk of certain skin cancers as an adult. Now UV levels are highest from March until October, but because we can't feel or see these rays, you won't know you're burnt until it's too late. High levels of UV radiation can penetrate through cloud, so you can still burn on a dull day. Heading to the beach, well, do remember you burn a lot quicker with the added reflection of the sun's rays from the sand and sea. So apply at least an SPF 15 or higher sun cream, cover up during the middle part of the day, and get your kids to play in the shade, particularly when the sun is strong. Solar elevation, or how high the sun is in the sky, is one of many factors that determines the UV level. High atmospheric ozone also contributes as does altitude and also the concentration of aerosols and pollutants in the air. And here at the Met Office, those numerous calculations translate to the solar UV index forecast, namely low, moderate, high or very high. And this is updated daily on the Met Office app, giving an hourly UV forecast for your location. So it's always worth checking the UV forecast before you head out and so be properly prepared for that great day outdoors.